Hello there, my name is Luke and welcome to the latest non-league news flash, bringing you up to date with the latest news from non-league. If you're new around here, then make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with non-league as well as videos like match day vlogs and an exciting new series that will be coming your way next week. So I've got my laptop here and uh, yeah, let's get straight into the latest news. So as always, we're going to start off in the Vanarama National League and the first bit of news is that Johnny Margetz has returned on loan to Lincoln City. He was there at the start of the season. He signed for on a free transfer and ended up scoring five goals in the first seven games of the season and that got him a deadline day move to Scunthorpe United for around about 60,000. He's barely played for Scunthorpe since and has now returned back to Lincoln on loan until the end of the season. The next signing is Lucas Dawson. He's a midfielder and he has joined Chester FC after, after a successful trial. He was previously at AFC Telford. And rounding off a fairly quiet week of transfers in the National League is Derwin Martina. This transfer though, this one isn't quiet. It has, it's been on and then it was off then it was back on again. He has signed from a Finnish side called Atlantis FC. They play in the third tier in Finland. And he is a right back brother of Kuko Martina, who you might know plays for Southampton in the Premier League. And he basically, they announced the signing subject to international clearance. Then a few days ago, he failed to get international clearance. So he was going to return to Finland, but they've managed to now get that international clearance and he comes in on the deal until the end of the season. There were a number of matches in the National League on Tuesday night. Big win for Braintree against Bromley. Two players sent off for Bromley, one for Braintree, but an impressive away victory there for Braintree. Dagenham and Redbridge, surprise home loss 2-0 to Maidstone United in a relegation battle. They have got a great result there. Eastley and Aldershot with a one-all draw. Geisley beat Barrow, an amazing result that for Geisley. They've been very good at home this season. Lincoln City drew one all with York City, another very surprising result. Sutton United won and Woking won as well. Now moving down to the National League North, and again, it's been a very quiet week for transfers, but there was one big signing, and that was David Morgan going from Nuneaton Town to AFC Fylde for an undisclosed five-figure fee. He is a central midfielder and has been attracting interest from a number of different clubs, so Fylde have moved quickly to make the signing right now. He was going to be signing for them at the end of the season, or at least he was a target for Fylde at the end of the season, but they've gone and got the deal done quickly. Worcester City have unveiled plans for their new stadium. It is a 4,400 capacity stadium in Purdiswell Park in Worcester. They have had a previous planning application on this site rejected, but they've just moved the stadium slightly further away from the canal and they're hoping that this one will be accepted. There's been a lot of signatures for and against this stadium happening. But hopefully, you know, the wide the football community in general needs to come together here and hope that Worcester City can finally move home to Worcester. They've been out of the city for four years now and with finances worsening, it's a rough time for their fans and they're looking like they could be relegated this year and hopefully they can get this planning application accepted when the final decision is made in May. On Tuesday night, Brackley Town played against Kidderminster Harriers. Harriers unfortunately lost 2-0. Two goals in the last 10 minutes from substitute Moyo. He came off the bench, scored a couple of goals to break the hearts of Harriers. It's now one win out of our last eight away matches in all competitions. It's not good enough away from home. We are only up near the top of the league due to our home form. 11 wins in a row at home, which is outstanding, but our away form is awful. If you'd like to see what has happened with Harriers this season, I've been going to all the home matches and doing match day vlogs. They are on my channel. Then an unsurprising result of Darlington beating Altrincham 3-1 at home. It puts Darlington a little bit closer to the playoffs, which is where they want to be. Altrincham, they're still rock bottom of the league. They are relegated. Now down to the National League South, and there was only really one transfer again this week, and it's not even a very important one. It's only a one-month loan for Joe Robinson. He is signed for St Albans City on loan from Ipswich Town. He was at Boston United on loan earlier in the season, where he was very impressive. These are the results from earlier this week in the National League South. Welling drew with Dartford 0-0. Margate lost again to Chelmsford City, this time 2-0 to Chelmsford. It ended 3-0 win for Wealdstone away at St Albans. That is an impressive result. And Hemel Hempstead with four goals against Whitehawk winning 4-1. It's a real coup for Billericay Town. They've been spending an awful lot of money recently and this has not stopped. They have brought in former Premier League player Paul Koncheski. He's a left back and he was most recently with Gillingham. 
He has come in after not really playing a huge amount for Gillingham, Gillingham this season and he's decided to drop down four tiers, down to the seventh tier, to sign for big spending Billericay. So there you have it, that's pretty much all of the news from the last few days in non-league. You're now up to date with non-league football from this week. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then it would really mean a lot to me if you hit that like button and considered subscribing to stay up to date with non-league football. Also on this channel, I've got match day vlogs, top 10 lists, and the new series that I mentioned earlier, which is coming next week, which I hope you guys will enjoy. So as always, thanks for watching.